weeks after walking out of his summit with North Korea's Kim Jong-un, President Trump today had kind words for the dictator despite a belligerent new tone from the North. Brian Todd has been looking into that and uh, tell us what you've been learning. Brianna, the president's positive tone toward Kim Jong-un came just hours after the North Korean dictator had insulted Donald Trump's team. Kim is frustrated with continuing sanctions on his country, and tonight, observers are wondering if that's going to jeopardize his relationship with the president. After months of handshakes, backslaps, and positive talk between the U.S. and North Korea, tonight, analysts are watching to see whether Kim Jong-un, North Korea's ruthless 35-year-old dictator, might appear to be shifting into a more hostile stance toward the U.S., According to North Korea's news agency, Kim says nations spearheading sanctions against North Korea, which would include the U.S., have, quote, bloodshot eyes and should be retaliated against. We must deal a telling blow to the hostile forces who are mistakenly determined to bring us down with sanctions. Tonight, analysts say they don't believe this is an immediate threat to strike militarily. Instead, Kim's regime says it will strike back by building up its economic self-reliance. But the new warning comes as the diplomatic outreach between Kim and President Trump is, if not dead in the water, at least stalled. If that doesn't change, Kim's statement could have a more ominous meaning. Up to and including, North Korea is not going to pay attention to these sanctions and we will test these domestically developed missiles and weapons uh, at a time and place of our choosing. 42 days after Trump abruptly walked away from the Hanoi summit with Kim with no deal on denuclearization, he met at the White House today with South Korean President Moon Jae-in. The president didn't address Kim's new threat, but said he was happy with the current level of sanctions. We want sanctions to remain in place. The president also appeared to be open to incremental progress, but says, quote, the big deal is for Kim to get rid of his nuclear weapons. But at another moment, saying incremental progress would work. I enjoyed the summits. I enjoy being with the chairman. I think it's uh, been very productive, and it really is. It's a step by step. It's not going to go fast. I've been telling you that for a long time. But tonight, with Kim Jong Un ramping up his rhetoric, key questions are still looming. With both sides still feeling the sting from Hanoi and holding their ground, how does this relationship get back on track? Can Moon Jae In help kickstart it, or is the South Korean president merely flailing around? showing limited diplomatic chops. I think the only two players that matter aside from China uh, are Kim and Trump. I think Moon is well-intentioned, but honestly, I don't think he has a great deal of influence. This still comes down uh, to what can Kim and Trump agree to together. And analysts have a warning tonight for the White House, that if President Trump can't sustain his personal relationship with Kim, the dictator could have a menacing partner waiting in the wings. I think one of the things that has not been looked at enough is the possible relationship between Kim Jong-un and Vladimir Putin of Russia. Um, Kim is expected to visit Moscow to uh, pay a visit to Putin. Um, the Russians have also laid a fiber optic line into North Korea. This is really striking because, of course, North Korea has very few computers, and I doubt very much people are gathering to watch the eighth season of Game of Thrones in Pyongyang. And tonight, this is another indicator that might jeopardize the relationship between Trump and Kim Jong-un. These are new satellite pictures of a key parade training ground in Pyongyang. These pictures analyzed by the Center for Strategic and International Studies. They show that hundreds of military vehicles are massed on this parade ground. CSIS says this could indicate there may be a big military parade in the works for this coming Monday, April 15th, which is the birthday of Kim Jong-un's grandfather. Analysts say if they do stage a big parade and they show off new weapons, well, the dynamic between the U.S. and North Korea is really going to take a hit. Brianna? All right, Brian, Todd, thank you so much. And come